gotta go for mine Cause I don't say yo To discuss, cause I take one by fault and without any doubt. Oh. I'm a me, I be a doubt. Oh. I look off it, 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 I look my sister, my god, hey Christian, hi, oh my forehead, <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to bottom, yeah, we email, birthday girl, take a shot, but hurry up, okay, you ready, birthday girl, you want to take a shot, move, I got it, yeah, <laughs> So we made one quick stop to go to the grocery store to get a bunch of snacks. Uh-oh, girl, you not finna get lost? Lord, just like the wonder all. We stay together. Mm -mm. We stay together. So yeah, we came to the grocery store to get some stuff for the house. And then we're going back to the house. So yeah. So we finally made it. Hey, birthday girl. So we finally made it. We're going in the house. Christian, give us a tour. You're not gonna record? I, I'm trying to find a key first. This is so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Look at the little hut. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is the entrance. They got the house rules. about to be lit it's about to be hitting like for real for real so this is cute y'all so this is the tour of the house so yeah super cute yes today is a new day yesterday was like a lot we went to three clubs 
we did a party bus and went to three clubs bar hop did a lot by the time i made it home i crashed like i couldn't even record no more i crashed but okay so today is a new day we about to go to this underwater sea trek thing i'm going to post some videos and pictures and also it's like a water park out there as well in flamingos but i'm not sure if the flamingo is going to be out so we're most likely not going to do that but yeah i'll see y'all when i get there so bye <laughs> Okay, so we finally made it. We're at the underwater sea track and we about to go get on our Yeah, we about to go get on this landing adventure. Hopefully I can make it because I am facing my spears and I'm super scared with this shit, but we gonna see how this goes. So yeah, we finally made it and I'll see y'all there. I'll post pictures and videos. Wait, what are you doing? I'm telling when y'all walk around when we go under. Oh, okay. I want to try to report like this. What do you think we are? Oh, you think we are a content creator too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who always want me to do this, do Ooh, that? Christy. Right, y'all? No, not for your safety. It's no, Luke's y'all always too. going off. Like, for your safety. That is an ugly background. No, I'm saying on the rock, not the sign and stuff though. If she turn this way, you're gonna have all them people in there. If you turn that way, you got the sign. Man, don't you know how to take stuff out the picture? Mm -hmm. Take what out? The, the whole sign. sign. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Because it's, I don't know, it's probably not. So get the clothes before y'all. I told you not over here. You need to walk over there close to the door because there was nobody over there in the sunlight. Okay, let's go. This is pretty. Thank you. Oh, you should take it where like the little tree thing, like right here. Right here. Yeah. Move um, move these chairs. That'd be cute. That'd be super cute. It's nasty. <laughs> Look, I had to do the cross. Lord, please cover me. Okay, Alright, hey, what's your face? Okay, so I am back. Um, we came from Deep Park Island. Some of us girls, we took naps and also we chilled at the poolside. Now we are dressed. As you can see, we are dressed. We are just to go head out to hit the strip and also go to Fat Tuesday and get some food in our system because I am hungry. So, um, all this girls, we are just say hey, Wendy. Say hey to me. Hey, my good girl. I don't even know if I'm recording, but anyways. So, we are on our way out. All this girls, we look cute. We smell good. I need to fix my hair because. I don't think I'm wearing this one. I really want to keep this one in because my hair is wet. I had to wash my hair. But 
it's not giving like it's supposed to be. So I think I'm gonna put it down. So I think I'm gonna put it down. But yeah, so when we get out there to the strip, I'll see y'all then. Bye. What you got on, girl? Say what you got on. Who, me? Yes, girl. I got on me a little one piece outfit for she in. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. Okay, fancy bitch over here. <laughs> Can you say what you got on, friend? Please. I have on she. Period. Large, mm -hmm. Small, the biggest. Period. As, yeah, as, big. Period. Okay. Wendy, what you got on? Jeans. Yeah. Jeans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I need to get Birthday girl. What you got on? Um, professional. Yeah. Purses from K State. Mm hmm. Shoes are from Nike. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> what you got on, Perry? Yeah. I guess it's called South Beach because it gives you the vibes of South Beach. So we finally made it here. We just left the one club and now we're on our way to the next one. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know when we get here. Okay, so I have to come and update you guys. This is a new day. We are out here about to do our UTP. And yeah, I'm super excited. Um, what we're going to do is we're about to eat some teas, go see some animals, yeah, be outside. So as we go along, I'll show y'all. Bonaire and Curacao. We speak the same language. Guys, here at school, at the fourth grade, it's mandatory to learn Spanish, also English. So that's totally four language. But when we are young here on the island, at 13 years old, we start to drink. So we all. Do you have light or purple? Okay, so you said the bracelet is 70. Is there a text? 
Um, the ceremony is already um, with the text. Okay, and 47. 47, correct. And? Um, 55. 172. Um, is that with the tax and everything? Yes. Okay. Um, I know I want the Virgo. I don't know about the heart because I really want it to be a lighter purple. Hey, Pushy Babes. Okay, so we are here. Today is Sunday, our last day. We are here at Pelican Pier and we are about to board our yacht to do breakfast and champagne on the yacht and do a little snorkeling and also we're going to do lunch and champagne on the yacht as well this yacht tour is about four hours so i'm super excited about that even though i've been on a yacht before but um i'm just super excited to go back on a yacht in the water i mean it's summer so anyways we're doing that um, yesterday I wasn't able to record too much because um, it was a lot of partying and then Saturday, what did we do yesterday? Oh, we did UTV. So it was a lot of that. And of course, as you guys can see from the videos that I posted, like it was a lot. So um, I was dirty, like it was just a mess. But now we are at Pelican Pier. We are about to board our yacht and have breakfast and champagne. And I'll see y'all on there. Bye. That's the shit I'm talking about though. Like, you changed up. You don't even fucking link nobody no more. Always felt like my vision lit bigger than a bigger picture. Crazy how you gotta wait until it's dark out to see who really with you. Crazy how even when it miss you, shit'll come back around and get you. Crazy like all my niggas. Crazy like all my niggas. Remember I deleted all my other girls' numbers out the phone for you. Remember when you had to take the bar exam, I drove in the snow for you. Yeah, you probably don't remember half the shit a nigga did for you. Yeah, you ain't really fuck with me way back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. Hey, Pinchy Babes. Okay, so right now, sorry I am undressed right now. I just finished my makeup. I am getting ready for my last sister's birthday dinner. Today is our last day for us to be in a legal. So, of course, as you know, with the girls' trip, our last night, we got about with a bang. So, I'm getting ready for us to go out to our birthday dinner. And then after that, we're going to do a few bar hops and also go to the club and just turn up for our last night of being here. Um, because we have to wake up super early in the morning to get ready, clean the house, clean the Airbnb, and pack to head off to the airport. So, for right now, let's enjoy this last night. So, I'll see y'all there. Hey, my bougie babes, it's your girl Paris Dior. So, I'm going to talk about the, I'm going to give you a little review on my trip to Aruba, okay? So, this is kind of like a review on the trip or whatever. So, let's talk about it. Let's get into it, okay? So, my review Okay, let me first rate the trip. I would rate the trip as a, I would give it like a, mm, I would give it like an eight out of 10. Reason why is because for one, it was a really good experience, like a really good experience. I loved it. Like I loved the trip, don't get me wrong. I loved it. 
I did a lot of things that I've never done before, like snorkeling. I went under um, underwater sea trip. Like, that was super fun. Like, I enjoyed the trip. And also, it was my god sister's birthday, so I definitely, like, enjoyed her time. Like, I love the trip. But... <laughs> Okay, um, let me put these up because it's taking me forever to chew those. But, okay, so the reason why I give it like an 8 out of 10 are because for one, let me start with one. One, I, I was the oldest one in the group. So, all of the other girls was like super young. They was like in their early 20s or whatever. And like me, I'm the type of person like if you say it's a girl's trip and then on top of that it's a birthday trip, like... We going overseas to turn up. Like, we in somebody else's country. Like, sis, what the bottles? Like, what a dance floor? Like, baby, I went to wake up every day with a hangover. I went to have a good ass time because me, I don't go out when I'm home. So, when I'm actually on my trip, I like to have a good time. Like, I want to turn up. Like, I went to... Be ratchet. I went to show my other side. So with that being said, um, the girls, some of the girls in the group, they wasn't really turning up. Like they more so wanted to sleep in. They wanted to be booed up on the phone with their niggas. And I'm just like, I understand you in a relationship, but at the same time, like sis, you on vacay. Like your nigga can't respect that you. You know, with your girls, you trying to turn up, you trying to have a good time. That was like one of the problems. It wasn't like a big problem because it wasn't no pressure. But when I didn't know the girls, um, I was invited on a trip by my god sissy, so I didn't know the girls, so I didn't really want to, you know, make it a big deal. I was just going with the flow. But that was kind of like one of my problems because, like me, I'm just like, when you go on a girls trip, what girls trip do? Like. We turn up. We have a good time. No sleeping. Like, we can sleep when we get back home. We can talk to our men when we get back home. Like, baby, this is vacay, okay? We in somebody else's country. Like, we need to turn this country upside down. Like, we need to make them remember us, okay? <laughs> oh, and let me also include this. So, another thing that I didn't like, the girls that wanted to go home super early. Like, every time when we went out, like, I understand we was going out to the clubs, like, super early. We was going out there, like, around 9. 8 30 9 o'clock but the girls wanted to leave like around 11 30 12 o'clock pushing me and i was just like damn like this is this around the time that everybody usually coming back outside like why are we going home so in all honesty that's another thing that i did not like like if we're gonna be outside let's be outside like why are we going home super early like <laughs> y'all want to go home and sleep like what is going on like why are y'all so sleepy so that's another thing that I did not like, that they wanted to leave, like, the clubs. They wanted to leave, like, you know, the party attractions, the attractions and everything. They wanted to leave those super early. So, it was just, like, a lot of tiredness, like, a lot of, you know, sleepiness or whatever. And I understand, like, we all have jobs. We all have, like, a life and life be life in. And then when we come on vacay, we want to relax. We want to chill. But I just feel like... <clears throat> All that sleepiness, all that too tired to do stuff, it was just like, it was killing the vibe. It was really killing the vibe. And I feel like that's where some of the mood swings came in at because some people, they wanted to stay outside. Like me, I wanted to stay outside. And some people, they just wanted to sleep in and be booed up. And I was just like, okay, this is starting to become too much. So that's, a, that's another thing that was not cool at all. Okay, that was the first the second was, the second was, um, it was super hot. That's another thing. It was super hot, super, super hot. Like, literally, soon as you stepped out of, well, we had an Airbnb. So, soon as we stepped out of Airbnb, it was like, the heat was like, whoosh. Like, it literally hit us. And I was like, oh, like, it was super, super hot. So, I came back home with a 10 and baby, I was just like, this is not it. And I put on sunscreen. So do not be in my comments telling me about sunscreen because I put on sunscreen. I put on sunscreen, y'all, and that sun still gave me a 10. Like my lips was dark. Oh my God, it was so horrible. <laughs> Overall, the trip was really good. I enjoyed my time with my God to see like, 
I'm happy she had a really good birthday. Um, this was like my second trip going um, going on a vacation with girls that I did not know. So this, this trip honestly turned out pretty good. I'm really happy for this trip. I'm really happy that I was, to, was able to experience it. Like overall, it was a really good trip. It's just like some little things I feel like it should have been better, but it wasn't like... It wasn't like things that I that I'm just like ooh no like I, I I'm ready to go back home. It wasn't that. It was just like more so like dog like y'all need to turn up a little bit or all in all she had a good time. I'm happy she had a good time. That's what really matters because it was her birthday trip. Um, but yeah, this is my little review. So the Aruba trip, like I said, I give it an eight out of ten. It was really good. It was a great experience. Like, I really enjoyed it. Just a few kinks, but I feel like every trip that you go on, it's always going to be some things that you don't like, but it's not terrible. Now, if it's things that you don't like that's terrible, then, of course, speak on it. But I just feel like, you know, this trip was really good. Like, I'm happy. If you've never been to Aruba, please go. It's an experience. I'm not going to lie. Aruba is a place that... You want to go on vacay with your men or even a personal trip. If you like to travel alone, Aruba is that trip. I won't, I personally won't suggest Aruba as a girl's trip because it's a little bit on, it's a little bit on the romantic side, if you ask me. But that's just my opinion. But that concludes the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your girl and also to all my new bougie babes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are new, just to let you know, this is your girl Paris Dior, owner of Pretty Bougie Boutique. I'll go ahead and tag it right here, all things fashion. And also, I want you to connect with me on my personal page on IG. I am Paris Dior. I'll tag it right here as well. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you so much, Bougie Babes. See y'all later. Bye. Oh, drop in the comments below, where should I go next? Okay? Bye. <laughs> No, I gotta go for mine, cause I don't see you.